Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Dead Cells. In the last episode, we did things that were cool, I hope, probably pretty sure. We also found the throne room, so that was neat. Uh, I don't have a lot to say for this intro. What I do have to say is that I have a plan for this game. My plan going forward is, uh, basically, I've been trying to grind this game in my off time, get a little bit ahead on things, do all that good stuff, and, uh... I, uh, haven't gone into anything new off-stream because I wanted you guys to see everything that happens. Uh, so my plan. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to show off some of the new stuff that I discovered but have not gone into yet. And then after that point, I'm going to grind this game like hell until I feel like I am strong enough to beat the throne room. And then I'm gonna do a stream until I beat the throne room. I will not stop streaming until I beat the throne room on this game once I feel like I get to that point. And that is a rough sketch of the plan. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do this. We got another, just another normal episode here right now and hopefully things go well. What do you got, homie? Will you give me free shit? No? Okay. What about, you wanna restock for me? Uh, ooh, I actually can buy the ice shards, but I don't really like the ice shards, so we're not gonna do that. I got a couple other things. I got this new bow that's uh, super freaky fast, so that's awesome. Jimmy John's would have to, you know, compete with this thing if they wanted to get my sandwich here in time. When I find an enemy, I would be happy to show you how quick it is, but apparently there's nothing over here and I've wasted my time. Speed run, bitch. You can't stop me. Shit. How that bow works is the more arrows that you throw into an enemy, the more damage it does. So it absolutely supports spamming the shoot button until you, uh, win, basically. So, where am I at? Minute 45? I know that it's not exactly ideal to go quick, and it's definitely better to explore things to the fullest. Um, but I want to go quick, so I'm going to go quick. What is this? Is this enemies? I haven't had a chest full of enemies in quite some time, which I'm actually, you know what? I really do like this thing, so I'm gonna get this. That's, uh, what this, this is a super cool weapon. What it does, it just throws a bunch of fucking saw blades on the ground. Made it in two minutes! Although this is, this is the wrong way, I'm now realizing. I didn't want to go this way. That's a little bit unfortunate. Alright, I guess we'll just have to go quick then, because there was something in this direction that I did want to show off. I just, uh, wasn't expecting to do it first, but that's fine. That's perfectly fine. I got another quick bow, or I could do, yeah, the sinew slicer is definitely a better option. We'll put that in place to the heavy turret. Throw that over there. Upgrade to plus plus quality. Upgrade to plus plus quality. I shouldn't have done the boots because those are in my backpack, but that's not that big of a deal. Um, but to make up for that, we'll get Porky Pack, which makes it so if I roll into people, it'll use my backpack weapon to do some damage. And then we will move on our way to keep going. Now, I know that this seems like it's going really quickly here, and obviously it is, because I'm trying to make sure I have enough time to include everything I want to include in this video. So, it might seem like I'm talking out of my ass, and that's really because I am. That's exactly what I'm doing. You're very observant. I must give you that. You're a very, very observant individual. I also did get the gardener's key. I don't know if I did that on stream. I don't think I did. But I did get the gardener's key and got the blueprint for that. Oh, there's this. What does this do? Uh, a shield that I don't want. So, pass. But thank you. I probably could have just used the stone, but I really, really enjoy the wall jumping we got going on here. Okay, so I have to remember where I need to go. I need to go from here to the, um, ramparts, and then from the ramparts to, I, I pretty much, we're pretty much just going down the normal basic bitch path, not like anything special, um, and going from there, because there was a section before High Peak Castle that I wanted to see if I could go down it or not. Uh, but if that doesn't work out, then what I'll try to do instead is I will try to get through High Peak Castle and try to do the throne room again. Who knows? Maybe I'll beat the throne room on this stream instead. I doubt it. I sincerely doubt that I'll do that, but, uh, who knows? I'm gonna keep the cleaver. Well, I guess I should at least recycle at that point. What is going on here? Alright, well, there's spikes there that I decided to run into, apparently. Unbeknownst to me. 
My brain did not clear that plan with me before executing it, so it seems like a load of shit. Cleaver... Yeah, I'd much rather have that. The cleaver is super useful to have. I gotta say, it would make things a lot easier if my brain had cleared the stupid shit with me before deciding to go off and do it. But no, it just likes to do what the fuck it wants, and this is how we end up in these situations. Give me the cheese. Give me the zombie cheese. Of course, that means cheese from a zombie, and not cheese that is a zombie. Although, that begs the question, what is zombie cheese? And would it taste good, despite the fact that it's undead? I don't have time to think, I only have time to kill. Not as in time to kill, like free time, I only have time to murder. That's all that's on my mind. It's almost like I woke up in the morning and I had murder on my mind. If you if you would, if you if you would state it in that way for some reason that I don't particularly know. No. Here, have some saw blades. There we go. Explorer's instinct. That is good shit. I will show you what that does when I'm not getting attacked. Apparently I've successfully killed 30 enemies, which is good news. Although I need 60 to get to the next bonus, Prison Depths. That is not the direction that we are going to go. Um, but what Explorer's Instinct does is, at a certain point, I will be able to see what is left on the map for me to discover, including any points of interest or loot items that might be there. Um, which is pretty flippin' cool, if you ask me. It doesn't look like I've missed anything important, so I think we can pretty much head out. Um, however... Actually, no, we're not going to go back and get that. That's a waste of time. We need to head up to the ramparts. Hello, Godzilla Zero. Thank you for calling me a butthole. That is very nice of you. Give me this. What do I got? Uh, we're going to go a brutality run this time around. Maxing off the offensive side of things. I'll try to focus on health a little bit in the background, but if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Anytime, what I've generally been doing with scrolls is that anytime I can upgrade my preferred trait, then I upgrade that trait, but if I get a um, scroll that only does uh, purple or green, then I'll upgrade that at that point. Whatever one gives me more health. Or I guess in general, which one is more beneficial. go. Now we're getting things moving here. This is the pace I wanted to go to. Alright, what is this? Assassin scroll. Yep, still has brutality, so st we're still gonna go for it. See, the thing is, you don't need health if you can kill them before they hit you. Um, guardian scroll. Whichever one gives me more health, which will be survival. Alright, there's Explorer's Instinct kicking in. So we have another scroll there, and then from that point... We really don't need to go to the shop, it's not really necessary, so we'll just get the scroll and then move on. Increases movement speed, oh that's good shit. That's actually really good shit. If that's the case, then let me get this, uh... Your melee attacks give you a small amount of HP back if I have an active speed buff, because that sword will work well in my favor with that. That won't necessarily be useful for when I do the boss fight, but, uh... For any point after that, it should be worth my time. All right, homie, let's get this shit done. I hate that red orb thing. Oh shit, this might be close. Don't hurt me, you son of a bitch! yet. No! Damn it! I was so close to doing it without taking damage! Fuck! 
That stupid red circle, motherfucker! I am sorry, I got a little bit uh, intense there. Uh, you'll have to excuse me if I was, uh, to say the least, perhaps a little bit disappointed in the fact that I had not gotten the zero damage run. Um, but we're good now. I've definitely cooled down, and I am not filled with some level of unfathomable, unfathomable rage. Uh, we're good. I couldn't even say unfathomable because I am so filled with anger. Because I am so not filled with anger. Because I am a, I'm fine. I'm fine. Perfectly a okay. We're gonna keep going the way we want to go, which from here we move on to Stilt Village. And go from there. It does better crit damage. So, alright, we're gonna take that. We're gonna put this in here. And we're gonna sell that. And then let's restock for just funsies. Um, nothing special. Okay. Got my frying pan back. We can go from there. Let's go cook some assholes. Ow, sir. You are really making things complicated. Honestly, I'd appreciate it if you just lay down and die. It's not that much to ask. I'm literally asking you to do nothing. Yet they still can't manage that for me. Here, take this. Ow! Okay, no, that's fine. I didn't need that health anyway. Definitely gotta work on getting some more help. So, when I find scrolls of power like this, I think I'll break my rule and do the more health option this time around, and then go from there. Mr. Treasure Chest, what do you have for me? You got a torch. Well, that's great and all, but I don't want it. It's actually a decent weapon, though, but, uh, I got my frying pan already, and I just kind of like the setup I have. I will, however, take your village key. I'm just gonna skip that guy, because we don't need to worry about him. Give me the key. No, fall down. There you go. That's what I'm looking for. What's going on, buddy? Have some saw blades. Wait, don't cross! I did not mean to cross. Go back out there. I panicked. Gonna break these. Have some saw blades. Have some fire. There we go. Give me your shit. What do you got for me? Death orb. And it's maxed out. All right, we'll replace the sinew slicer because those saw blades really, really are kick ass. Versus the golden amulet, which does downward smash attacks do burn the ground. That is pretty good. I do very much enjoy that. So I am going to take that with me. Just adds a nice offensive touch to downward smashes, even though they are already offensive on their own. There's a lot going on here. Let's slow down for a second. Death Orb. That's not the Death Orb. That's the Death Orb! You survived the Death Orb? That's actually impressive. Anyone that can survive something called it... Anyone that can survive something with death in the title is... Pretty goddamn impressive, if you ask me. Good. There we go. Give me that, please and thank you. Take me back to the beginning. Go through this. And then from here, what we're gonna do is unlock this. Use the elevator, go through here. And then use the key again, except I already got the blueprint from that, and there's nothing useful there anymore. So I've wasted my time, and now I've got to wait for the elevator to come back down. Also, fun fact, in case anyone new is playing this game, they're not watching this stream, that's for sure, but these bells, you can smack them. There's four bells on this map. If you smack all four bells in the... Uh, lowest tone to the highest tone, you'll get a key that unlocks something. Uh, good luck with that. Have fun. It took me a while to find them all. I died a couple times in the process. And needless to say, I was quite pissed off as a result. Was there another way to go? 
No, no, there's not. Is there? Wait, is there more? Oh shit, there's more to it! Not that I think it'll be necessary, because I don't think this way is going to yield anything useful, but, uh... I'm going to go that way anyway. Come here. Come here. Oh, I was wrong. It gave me cells. Don't judge a book by its cover. Despite the fact that that's exactly what covers are designed for. Alright, let's do brutality. Get that, uh... Power up. And then... All right, good. We we're going to need this key, so it's definitely a good thing I came up here. Ain't no timeout corner anymore. If you're naughty, you just get the fucking death orb right away. I ain't fucking around. More brutality! Screw's going fuck shit up mode. My favorite mode out of all the modes. Whoa, easy there, homie. Let's slow your roll. All right, he disappeared. He went to the Shadow Realm. Well played, sir. You want a death orb? Ow. Guess what I'm gonna do? You guess right. More fucking brutality. Let's go! Yeah! Try me, bitch! Give me your cheese. Whoa, never mind. Don't think I want anything to do with that. Wow, there's two of you. There's just fucking... What are you guys having an orgy in that wall over there? Uh, purple. Please and thank you. Good. To the clock room we go. See, the clock room is actually one of the most difficult parts of the game because it's just a guy, a very old man, who's showing you all this collection of clocks, and you don't want to be rude and tell him you're not interested, so you sit there and listen to him anyway, despite the fact that you got shit that you want to do today, and you really don't want to listen to this at all. But, uh, you do it anyway, because you're just that good of a person, and it really fucks you over sometimes. Anyway, skeleton outfit. Oh, sorry, temporal outfit. I didn't read it. I just kind of took a guess on which one I was on. All right, asshole, let's go. You can't keep all the time to yourself, dude. That's not fair to everybody else. No, 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 yes. I meant yes. I, you know what? I wanted you to do that. You've fallen right into my trap. Actually, could you, sir, could you come over here into my trap, please, sir? I'm gonna need you- there you go, right there, perfect! You just stay right there the whole time. Let's finish this. Okay, works for me. I'm not exactly thrilled to be here. Come here. You want a death orb? Come get your death orb! Dude! Leave me alone! Homie, all I'm saying is it would really make things a lot easier on me if you would just stand in these perfectly placed saw blades just like that. There you go. No, come back. Come on, we're having fun, right? We had a good time tonight. Come stand in my saw blades. And he's dead. Okay. Perfect. And we keep it moving. Give me your cells. Definitely give me your... Uh... Blueprint, tainted, fla uh, tainted flask. That sounds not useful to me in any way, shape, or form. This does more damage. Which sucks. But it is what it is. And what about you? You all actually, you do the exact same amount of damage, but after I upgrade you, you will do significantly more. Aerolected Distillery is what I was hoping to go to? Okay, good. It's not a DLC area, so we're going to figure out what the hell this is. Inhaling the chemical vapors that often filled the warehouse was said to cause hallucinations. Some of the workers even reported barrels moving by themselves. Oh shit, there's going to be people in the barrels. Sir, there better not be anything in that fucking barrel. Oh no. Wait! Actually, this is good shit! Can I hit these things? I can't! This is good. I played the daily challenge today, and there was this weapon called the Barrel Launcher, which launches those explosive barrels. And it was an amazing fucking weapon. And I'm really hoping that I can find the blueprint for that, because that'd be pretty kick-ass. No. Ow. Thank you, sir. 
Alright, I gotta time this right. I timed it terribly. Close, but no cigar. There we go. Um, here, hold on to this for me. What was that? What the fuck? What are you? Okay, so the barrels explode. There are people inside barrels and the people want to kill me, so they explode themselves in order to accomplish that. That's spectacular. Really glad that that's the case. All right, we're gonna get past Mr. Spinny Top here, because I do not want to deal with him. Hey, what's going on, Red? That's a barrel. What's going on, Red? At least now, if I come back here in my off time, I'm actually gonna feel okay going through here. What is this? And how is it gonna kill me? Scribbled note. Dispenser out of order. One of the engineers was so happy with his new prototype that he went straight to the barrel dispenser to test it. This level of stupidity would have got him fired if he didn't die in the process. Signed, the management. Well, rest in peace, guy who died. Poor bastard. My man's was just a barrel engineer. He wanted to engineer a new barrel. A barrel that would innovate. A barrel that would change mankind. But he let the power go to his head. Whoa, shit. That was narrowly avoided. That, however, was not. That was very much not avoided. And in fact, that hurt like a bitch. Oh, God. What kind of fucking Donkey Kong Country shit is this? Ooh. Oh! Oh! This is the thing! This is the barrel launcher! This- yeah! This thing! Fuck yeah! Yeet! Oh, hell yeah! I am... exceedingly happy right now. Words cannot describe how happy I am. Oh no, this is some Donkey Kong Country shit. I can throw barrels at people. Where the hell am I? Oh, I just got me back up there. No. You think you can hurt me? Huh? I've got an exploding barrel launcher. I fear no man. I see no god up here other than me. That explodes. I don't trust that for shit. I definitely don't trust you for shit. No. No. No! Oh, shit! Okay. Oh, you guys are fucking everywhere, aren't you? Ow! Wait, wait, time out, time out, time out! Ow. I think they launched my own barrel back at- oh, shit. Have that. And you know what? Have a death orb on top. Oh shit, he d he went right the fuck through that. He doesn't give a shit about any of those things. I take the blame for that one. All right, please, please, ro fucking relax. How do I get up here without dying? Thank you. Fuck's sake. Take the scroll. Those wasps can just sit there and wait until I'm damn well ready to get blown up. Oh, you piece of shit! Okay. All right. Here's the situation, ladies and gentlemen. So, we have one piece of health. And what we need to do is get all the way the fuck over there without dying. This is going to be quite difficult to accomplish, as you can imagine. But, you know- OH GOD! I'm sorry, you'll have to excuse me, I got a little bit worried for a second there. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, we need to get there without dying! And see, just like that, it was that easy. I'm not- I wasn't even- I wasn't even fucking worried. Did you, there was definitely not a ear-shrieking scream that I let out because I was scared. Not even a little bit. No siree. Please don't ever make me go back there again. Here's what we're gonna do. Reset these. I want- I don't want killer instincts, you motherfucker. Porcupack. Crow's foot. And... Um... 
Also, this could this could also be good though. You know what? Actually, I think we'll do this instead. Which I probably should have doubled down a little bit more on tactics if I wanted those to be good, but that's okay. Now, I can't guarantee that I'm going to be able to do anything successfully here. Um, in fact, I'd wager I'm absolutely not going to be able to do anything successfully here. But we're going to try. Maybe I'll beat it. Maybe by some miracle and a half, I will manage to beat this successfully. And how many times can I say successfully in the same sentence? Who knows? But uh, if you can successfully count the number of times, then I'd say you are pretty successful. Yeah, throne room. Here we go. This guy's a real grade-A piece of shit. I, just, I don't know how I'm going to end up beating him, no matter how hard I try, but I am going to try. The hand of the king. That's not a hand, that's a dude. But whatever you say, bro. Heal. Ow. Heal again. I don't know what those things do, but frankly, I don't want to let the timer count down, so we're going to destroy them. Start. It'd make things a lot easier on me if you stop doing that. Wow, these are the best enemies that you can come up with, huh? These level one, area one enemies. Good on you, mate. Ow, he's still kicking my ass, though, so I'll take it. Heal. Heal! Still got hit by that. Oh shit. Kick his ass! Kick his ass! Yeah! Get fucked, idiot! Woohoohoohoohoo! What the fuck is that thing? Stem Cell 1 modifies the difficulty level and unlocks new options. Does it make it easier? What are the odds it makes it easier? <laughs> I've got a feeling it doesn't make it easier. I will take your lance, though. And I'm going to store the pan in here, because I really like the pan. All right, Mr. King guy, what's your deal, huh? Can I hit you? Do I kill him? Do I want to kill him? Can I not kill him? Back room. This room seems to have been added after the construction of the castle. Five boss cells required. Okay. I've seen this type of shells before in the king's castle. Okay. Homie, I, I, I really hate to do this to you, but I'm... I'm pretty sure I gotta kill ya. I'm gonna be completely real. So, uh, hope you're cool with that. Yeah. Kinky. So I did all that so I could die. Spectacular. A game by Motion Twin. Apparently, I've beaten the game. So I guess that takes my entire general plan and kind of throws it in the trash, huh? Well, alrighty then. Uh, thank you, everybody so much for watching. You can leave a like or dislike. 
But if you leave a dislike, leave criticism, because it'll really help me improve. And, uh... Well... I'm probably... Yeah, I'm gonna... I hate to do this, but I'm gonna skip the credits. I wanna see if there's anything at the end. Oh, there is. Oh, shit. Alright, never mind. We ain't done yet, ladies and gents. This is me. It's your boy. Oh, I can... Oh, shit. I can leave. Yeah, that's a beautiful sound, isn't it? Run duration, 35 minutes and 35 seconds. And we're back! Okay. Oh, shit. Where the hell is Old Bones gone? Leave, leave body. Oh, 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 ew, ew! Oh, God, why? What reason would I have to do that? Oh, yeah, there's also a secret back here. Fun fact, if you want to do that. Okay. Dead man's bag and residual cells. This bag contains the cells left over from your fight with the Hand of the King. Yeah, I should probably pick those up. Well, okay. Well, I guess that's the end of the game. Not necessarily. There's definitely more shit to do. But, uh... That will be the end of this episode. So, yeah. Likes, dislikes, all that stuff. And, uh... Well, as always... Enjoy the rest of your day.